नानम परमम धेयम नॉलेज इज सुप्रीम Welcome to this course on advanced transition metal organometallic chemistry. Uh, as a part of our discussion on organometallic catalysis reaction, we have been uh, discussing an important uh, uh, reaction which is asymmetric hydrogenation reaction. And in this context, we have uh, uh, discussed uh, about the Nyeri catalyst in the previous uh, uh, class and in that uh, uh, a discussion what we had observed that Nyeri catalyst is very much similar uh, to that of the uh, uh, Schrock Osborne catalyst which is nothing but uh, L2 rhodium uh, uh, bisolvated cationic complex uh, you know, which uh, in which L is a uh, chiral uh, phosphine uh, based chiral ligand uh, rhodium and solvent uh, 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 is the solvent uh, coordinated to the metal center. And in that sense, Nyeri's catalyst is also of the similar type. L2 oh, means uh, L being a chiral ligand, uh, chelating uh, phosphine ligand, rhodium uh, bound to uh, two carboxylate moieties. Now, what we have seen that in uh, uh, Nyeri catalyst is extremely good uh, for enantioselective hydrogenation and uh, these chiral uh, PPH2, phosphorus bound PPH2 moieties. Uh, 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 exert Van der Waals uh, 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 interaction on the rhodium center which in turn uh, transmit the chirality onto the uh, substrates which uh, are bound to rhodium after displacing the carboxylate. And uh, we had seen uh, how a heteroatom assisted carbonyl compounds uh, uh, can be selectively uh, hydrogenated uh, to alcohol in a in anti selective fashion uh, using this uh, Nyeri catalyst. So, uh, this was uh, a wonderful demonstration of uh, applications of Nyeri catalyst and what we had seen that the chelation of the heteroatom, the distant chelation of the heteroatom along with the carbonyl moiety was very much important uh, in being uh, in anti selectively uh, obtaining uh, the hydrogenation product. Continuing uh, our uh, discussion further on the Nyeri catalyst, uh, uh, we are going to uh, look up some more examples uh, which sort of highlights uh, why this Nyeri catalyst is have been so much appreciated uh, in the domain of uh, asymmetric hydrogenation catalysis. I must note uh, that uh, Nyeri has been uh, uh, conferred uh, the Nobel Prize for his work on this asymmetric uh, hydrogenation uh, catalysis and that is why uh, his catalysts are so famous and have been recognized uh, duly by the scientific community. The asymmetric hydrogenation uh, as was observed in our previous uh, discussion was due to uh, this uh, chelation of the distant heteroatom and one can uh, sort of extend the concept uh, from a, a carbonyl with distant heteroatom to the uh, substrates like diketones and there one can see that the stereo induction arises due to chelation of the carbonyl groups. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, the main principle or the main success of Nyeri catalyst in asymmetric induction is due to the chelation of carbonyl group and hit the heteroatom of the substrate to the 
by nap ruthenium unit and substrates like 13 diketone beta ketoesters or amino amino ketones uh, are also nnto selectively hydrogenated suitable substrates like 13 diketone beta ketoester amino ketones are in nnt selectively hydrogenated so uh, this uh, is uh, beautifully illustrated by uh, this equation given over here one three diketone reacting with R binap R U C L two in presence of hydrogen seventy bar gives alcohol R 99 percent E at 10 percent conversion and which if allowed to react more with hydrogen then so the first obviously is the reduction of uh, uh, the diketone uh, to alcohol and uh, ketone. So, one of the group to reduce the other chelates, but if one continues uh, with the hydrogenation, then both the carbonyl compounds are reduced to alcohol and the stereochemistry of the alcohol is RR. hundred percent E and little bit of the meso product like OH, OH and the ratio of uh, uh, this RR to meso is 99 is to 1. So, one can uh, really uh, appreciate or uh, the power of this naive catalyst in terms of uh, achieving this NNTO selectivity. So, uh, you know the, uh, using this concept of uh, percolation of, uh, 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 of carbonyl the group getting reduced with one of a distant heteroatom uh, can be successfully used for uh, the diketones or the ketoester substrates where the first uh, one of the carbonyl compound is reduced in high selectivity about 99 percent E and then subsequent treatment with hydrogen reduces both the carbonyl uh, giving the RR product in 100 percent E uh, and uh, about 99 to 1 uh, uh, selective product selectivity towards the RR uh, compound as opposed to the meso compound. So, uh, uh, one can uh, sort of uh, uh, appreciate uh, uh, the uh, power of uh, these uh, uh, the diketone naive catalyst on diketone uh, uh, substrates. So, uh, naive catalyst can also uh, be used on used to produce beta hydroxocarboxylic uh, uh, ester. So, 
uh, Nyeri catalyst. can also be used to produce beta hydroxy carboxylic esters which are important as intermediates towards many organic and natural products. And uh, this is beautifully illustrated by this uh, beta ketoester substrates, which is O R dashed and R. by NAP R U X 2 H 2 80 to 100 bar giving O R O H star and the yield is over 95 percent and selectivity over 98 percent. So, uh, one can see this uh, chelation concept of a heteroatom chelation bound uh, in distant to the carbonyl being so effective in uh, uh, using Nyeri catalyst for uh, producing alpha hydroxy carboxylic esters, uh, which are important components of many uh, natural products. Now, uh, this chelation uh, can also uh, uh, be used to uh, uh, you know, uh, do an anti selective uh, catalysis with uh, halides. So, uh, halogen atoms in substrate can also suitably anchor the catalyst through chelation to give high energy selectivity. In substrate, can suitably anchor on catalyst through chelation to give high energy selectivity. And this uh, uh, is beautifully illustrated by the example bromo or binap. Ruthenium X2 plus hydrogen bromide OH R. So, 97 percent yield and 92 percent E. Now, 
Only uh, the fact that only orthohalous substrate undergoes hydrogenation, uh, and the para and the meta does not give uh, 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 does not give hydrogenation, that sort of underscores that uh, the importance of chelation in uh, being able to hydrogenate. The fact that fact that meta and para isomers do not hydrogenate it highlights the importance of of chelation. So, this is a important point in uh, 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 in uh, explaining the uh, high NNT selectivity observed uh, in case of Nyari catalyst that uh, this hetero there is there has to be a heteroatom bound chelation uh, 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 distant to the carbonyl uh, moiety so, uh, which results uh, uh, in higher chiral transfer. Uh, uh, leading to higher energy selectivity. So, in uh, substrates where uh, such chelation is not possible, for example, the ortho and the uh, meta and the para substrates, such kind of uh, hydrogenation does not proceed at all, which further highlights the importance of chelation uh, in hydrogenation reaction. Now, asymmetric hydrogenation with other uh, catalyst has also uh, been uh, uh, used for synthesis of many uh, natural product for example, uh, uh, have been successfully used in the synthesis of anti inflammatory S naproxen. Anti inflammatory S naproxen. And uh, this is given as CO 2 H H 2 S BINAP ruthenium R 2 giving O methyl CH three CO two H E is extremely high ninety seven percent and one interesting thing about Nyari catalyst is that Nyari catalyst is even uh, superior. Uh, to rhodium catalyst in hydrogenation uh, asymmetric hydrogenation reactions. So, this is an important aspect of Nyari catalyst the BINAP ruthenium X 2 catalyst Nyari 1990 is superior than rhodium catalyst in asymmetric hydrogenation. So, this is a important uh, 
uh, uh, information as here we have a catalyst uh, which is based on ruthenium uh, and usually uh, the rhodium uh, is more catalytic active as uh, as it is called a magic metal but here we have a, a ruthenium catalyst in form of nairi catalyst performing uh, better uh, than uh, uh, this rhodium based asymmetric uh, uh, hydrogenation reaction so another interesting break is the nnt selectivity through carbonyl coordination and uh, we are going to take a, a look at this example uh, uh, individually so uh, through steps so we have a chiral ancillary rhodium the chiral catalyst plus the substrate hydrogen r nh c o m e you know that can react in two pathways so in which the substrate binds in one particular way which is n h r CO2 ME rhodium P P star plus H2. So now the hydrogen comes and gives the same NH R. CO rhodium hydride hydride phosphorus phosphorus and then CO2 ME overall plus so that in many steps gives CO2 ME hydrogen R NH CO ME. Now, the other pathway is shown over here in which the uh, 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 olefin binds in a, uh, the different uh, way as is shown rhodium n h r c o two m e bound to rhodium overall it is a plus adding hydrogen but in a slow fashion for this particular NN tumor giving rhodium hydride phosphine hydrogen O N H R CO2 ME and this rhodium is bound to that. Uh, this is uh, still monionic and then after, after several steps one can see the formation of ketone in H H CO2 ME. and R. So, what we see the configuration over here is S 95 percent the configuration over here R 
is 5 percent and this hydrogen addition is slow. So, this is how the stereo uh, differentiation uh, occurs in this complex. The carbonyl group group assists in stereoselectivity by anchoring with catalyst. So, what we see is that uh, this NIRI ca catalyst is successful because of its ability to carry out uh, 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 face, uh, facial uh, discrimination and uh, that is why uh, it can uh, uh, carry out NNTO selectively uh, all this asymmetric uh, catalysis reaction. So, here is another uh, nice example uh, on asymmetric catalysis reaction that we would be talking about is air hydrogen C N H A C C O 2 H air equals 3 4 C 3 C 6 H 3 O H whole 2 D, D I P A M P equals O uh, P H O M E phosphorus P H this is a chiral entity P uh, this phosphorus is also chiral P H P H O M E. So, uh, this is the diamp ligand and this is used uh, uh, for uh, preparation of L-dopa which is our, our diamp rhodium salt 2 plus 50 degree centigrade 3 bar in presence of hydrogen gives the two highly two isomers in highly NNTO pure form CH2 AR N H A C C O 2 H and H this is 97 percent and the other isomer thus is C H C H 2 A R C O 2 H N H A C and uh, this is formed in 3 percent yield and this is a useful me method for preparations of uh, L uh, uh, dopa. So, with this I would like to uh, uh, conclude uh, uh, our discussion on asymmetric hydrogenation reaction and what we have looked at is uh, 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 the reason behind the tremendous success of asymmetric hydrogenation reaction in uh, uh, regard to chiral transfer and what we had uh, observed is that there is a, a chelation of a distant heteroatom bound uh, to the uh, uh, hydrogenation moiety which can be a carbonyl uh, which uh, allows for uh, such an anti selective discrimination towards one uh, uh, product over the other. Now, uh, 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 we had also uh, looked at the substrates which will have such a, a ability to form such a, a type of chelation in terms of energy selective uh, discrimination and we found that substrates like diketones, uh, uh, ketoesters all can be 
and then to selectively hydrogenate it with Nairi's catalyst to give the corresponding uh, hydrogenated product. We have also seen alpha bromo uh, uh, acetoxy benzene uh, can also uh, give such a, a hydrogenated product, then that primarily is because of the presence of the uh, um, uh, bromo uh, moiety on the benzene atom or bro uh, bromine having lone pairs which can uh, kill it to the metal complex or anchor to the metal complex and help uh, uh, in NNTO selective uh, reaction. So with this, I conclude uh, today's discussion on asymmetric uh, hydrogenation reaction and uh, we are going to take up another very interesting uh, discovery in the next form, next lab, which is this uh, hydroformylation reaction. That also is an important reaction uh, uh, from industrial perspective. So more on hydroformylation reaction when we make, meet next uh, in the class. I sincerely uh, thank you for your uh, uh, time and attention that you have given uh, to me uh, for, uh, and uh, for being with me in this class. And I look forward uh, to, uh, to being with you in the next class where we take up hydrogenation in lot more uh, detail. Uh, so till then, goodbye and thank you.